Oh, well, everybody's heard about the bird. Bird, bird, bird. Bird's a winner. Well, the bird, bird, bird. Bird is a winner. Well, the bird, don't you know? I'm the bird. Well, everybody knows that the bird is a winner. Well, the bird, bird. The bird's a winner. Well, the bird. Ba, 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 What a way to begin a video. Hey, this is Birdman 316. And we, I think we all know what this is. Gotta represent for my savages. Let's see if you can read this. No, it won't do it. But anyway, this is the solo battery. And this is solo charger. Now, right now that light is red, and you can see that very last battery indicator light blinking. So my guess is when this thing is charged, that'll be solid, and maybe that'll be green, or that'll go out. I don't know, but we shall find out. Now here is the bird itself. No props on it yet. We're going to put a little drop of wall on the top of those berries, but you can't get to the bottom because your LEDs are on the bottom. Well, you might be able to get to them, I'm not sure. They should be able to pop off somehow, but I'm not sure if we should be popping those off all the time to all the bottom bearings or not, but the top bearings are better than nothing at all. Here's a transmitter charging. The same deal, there's no lights, there's no nothing. As soon as I plug in the charger, it says um, solo charging or something like that. So we're going to find out what it does when it's finished charging. You can see the 3DR on the transmitter as well as the charger. There's your phone holder. So we're going to put this phone in here just like this. Of course, right now it's in airplane mode. So, I won't get any disturbances when I'm making videos. And, it's probably a good idea to put this in airplane mode when you're flying too because you don't want no interruptions and you don't want the app to get crashed out and stuff like that. So, it's best to put these puppies in uh, airplane mode just, just because, you know, safety. And then put it back normal after you, you land, after you cut everything off. So I'm going to make another video after these things have charged and we're going to see what color these lights change and all this good stuff. So until then, this is Birdman316. Sayonara. Hey, welcome back. This is Birdman316 with an update on the charging. You notice there's no lights on the battery flashing anymore. And I suspected, see that light's green now. So when this battery is fully charged, all the lights go out on the battery, and the charger light turns green. Now we're stepping over here to the transmitter. There's no lights or any indications or anything, but if you reach down and tap this power button, it shows a picture of the battery, and I'm assuming that there's no flashing going on, that the battery in the transmitter is fully charged as well because there's no lights anywhere. At least I don't see any lights. There's no lights on the charger itself. So I'm assuming if you want to check the battery level of the transmitter, you just uh, tap the power button. It'll show you with a uh, a battery indicator light or so. It looks like a battery, you know what I mean. I'm not sure exactly what that's called, but, but we all know what that means. You tap the power button and it shows the animation of a battery. And if the battery is solid, I'm assuming that it's charged. And this one right here, all the lights go out. And that light turns green on the charger. So it's about 85 already out there. And it's, and it's barely 10, 20 in the morning here. So it's too hot to wear a hat strap, head strap cam, but we will get the bird up in the air and get a little bit of footage with this phone for the main flight, just a little 
we'll have her test and uh, make sure everything's going to be good and, and get a walk around and all that good stuff. So this is Birdman 316. We will see you in the air here in a little while. Sayonara. Yeah, it's been a long time since I wore this. This is Birdman 316. How you doing out there? Look what we're going to fly. Well, we're not going to fly this, but we're going to fly that. The Solo. This is actually her second flight. I just did a four minute pre-run, like true drone reviews always recommend, that you run it for four minutes and then land it and check the motor temperatures. They were a little warm, but they weren't boiling hot or anything. But we're actually going to take it out there and fly it around a little bit. We're in the eight, well, almost the eight o'clock hour. Not quite eight o'clock. We're, beat, we're beating heat. We're getting out here before it gets hot. I tested auto takeoff and auto land. They both work fine. So we're going to do some more testing out here in a bigger field. We're going to take off from right here and fly across the street. So it says here, hold to start the motors. we got 10 satellites. Hold to start the motors. This button right here where my thumb is, right here. All right, check this out. Motors have started. And we're going to take off automatically, I hope. Here we go. There we go. We're going to do a little walk around. Again, we did one earlier, but we're going to do one now, too. She looks naked without a camera on her. But those red arms on the front should help me with orientation. She's drifting just a little bit. Ten satellites. We are going to step across the street and we're going to fly around a little bit. Here we go. We'll go up just a little. I'm trying to keep from getting blinded out here. We're going up just a little. And we're yawing a little bit. We're going forward. And we had the speed set on slow. Let me get turned around this way. That sun is blinding me. I know it's blinding you guys too, so I'm gonna come back around this way with her. We're gonna fly over this way. I'm gonna get behind the sun. Walk over this way. There we go. I think I know what I'm going to do. So you can see those red arms. Those red uh, neon I have on the arms. You can see that stuff a mile away. That's full pitch right here. Go up a little bit higher. Make sure we clear those power lines there. There we go. That's full pitch right here. I have it like that for a reason. Because this is a camera bird. And I have it set on slow because you don't really need to be going really fast with a camera bird because you're going to be messing up your footage. That's the object to having a camera bird. Slow and easy, you get that good footage. Smooth footage, you know.
You can see that greater ghost. Well, I don't know if you can, but I can. Bring it down just a little bit. We're at 55% power. We have 11 satellites. There's nothing on the phone. There's no pictures on the phone or anything because um, there's no camera on here right now. Bring it down just a little bit. It's, I didn't know there was telemetry right here on the main screen. About 91 feet away from the transmitter. And we are like 22 feet. Well, I don't know if it's really 22 feet high or not, but that's what it says. I don't know how true that is. Turn it like this. There we go. I don't want to hit return to home because it's going to go over there across the street because that's where I took off from. So, <laughs> if I want to test return return to home, I'll have to land it out here and then take off out here again, which I think I will do. Fly over my head here. Yeah, that sun's pretty bright. I might just fly it around a little bit and just um, deplete this battery down. Well, not too much. Because if she goes into return to home mode, she's going to be flying across the street. And uh, <laughs> I don't know how good that's going to work out. Of course, return to home altitude is set at 210 feet, so that's pretty high. The maximum height you can ever go with this bird is 400 feet. Because that's what it's, um, well, that's how high legally you can go. And plus, that's just how it is with this one, which in a way is good because you don't want to get into trouble. But the FAA says uh, you can't fly by 400 feet legally, so you best not be doing it. So I'm going to stay legal. I'll just get to know her a little better. Take up a little bit higher. You come around here this way. I see the shadow coming around. I'm trying to keep from looking at the sun so you guys won't get blinded. I know I'm getting blinded if I look at, in the direction of the sun. I know you guys are too, so that's why I'm trying to stay away from that section. I mean, you can see those arms. Let me put her right here in a hover. It says we're 100 feet away. 108 feet away, 39% battery power, 11 satellites, altitude of 24 feet. Check it out. Check out the bush over there. Watch this. I'm hovering right over the bush out there. I don't know if you can see it, but that those props put out a bunch of wind. I can see those arms really well. We're full forward. Let go of the stick. It takes her a couple seconds to to get where she's supposed to be. I'm going to check something right quick. I'm going to check his paws. I guess the paws air brake or whatever like that just uh, lets it sit here. Then when you push it again, she goes on. But I wonder you push pause and then hit this oh okay so you hit pause and to get out of it you can either hit pause again or 
you can just push forward on a pitch roll stick and it'll get you out of uh, the pause mode. So I guess pause means, let's say I'm flying over here and I want to hit something. Oh my goodness. Oh, hit pause. There you go. Pause lets it stop whatever it's doing and you hit the yaw and you can still yaw around and gets rid of the pause. It, it lets you continue with what you're doing. See, this thing is still new to me. This is its very first official fly around. I did a little hover test earlier, the four minute hover. To check her out. 31% battery power, 11 satellites. I'm not gonna bring the battery all the way down because it's gonna try to land across the street over there where she took off. And that's a little small of an area to be trusting. Well, I'm sure the return to home is nice on this one but that area over there is just a little bit tight for me to be uh try and return to home on this one right now now when we take off out of this field on battery pack number two we will be checking out return to home in more detail i'm gonna stop her right here i'm gonna back up a little bit Okay, we are 127 feet away, and I can still see those red, those red arms. Saying 25% battery power, and the transmitter vibrate a little bit. That means I guess it's time to take her on, or bring her here and land her. So I don't want this puppy to go into return to home mode with it being such a tight quarters where I took off from. So what I'm going to do, like she's trying to raise up a little bit, I'm going to bring her down some, and bring her towards me. And when I let go of the stick, it takes her just a couple of seconds to stop, but she does good. I'm going to turn around and bring her in lander at 22% battery power. We got 11, 21% battery power. We got 11 satellites. If she looks funny without no camera on her, look at the Gravedigger ghost. See the uh, red hourglass on the belly? I thought that'd be a pretty nice touch. Bring her on down very slowly. We're gonna land her right out here. I'm gonna land her manually, see what happens. See how she does manually. Let me bring her this way a little bit more. Yeah, we are, we got like maybe two bars left on the battery. So we're gonna go ahead and land her. I'll do a manual landing, bring the stick down. And hold the stick all the way down. Hold the stick down totally, and it cuts the motors. And that, my friends, is the very first official flight of this battery and this whole aircraft. This is Birdman 316. Sayonara.